This segment will provide you some safety, operation, and maintenance tips for your new AgriFab Zero Turn Snowblade. Vehicle braking and stability may be affected with the attachment of this equipment. Be aware of changing conditions on slopes. Read the owner's manual carefully for operating and service instruction before attempting to assemble or operate this equipment. Never allow children to operate the mower or snowblade attachment, and do not allow adults to operate without proper instructions. Do not allow anyone to ride or sit on the snowblade attachment frame. Keep the area of operation clear of all persons, particularly small children and pets. Vehicle braking and stability may be affected by the addition of an accessory or attachment. Be aware of changing conditions on slopes. Refer to safety rules in the vehicle's owner's manual concerning safety operation on slopes. Stay off steep slopes. Always operate up and down a slope, never across the face of a slope. This equipment should be operated at reduced speeds on rough terrain, along creeks and ditches, and on hillsides to prevent tipping and loss of control. Do not drive too close to a creek or a ditch. Do not tow this equipment on a highway or any other public thoroughfare. Follow the maintenance instructions as outlined in the owner's manual. The lock release grip assembly unlocks the blade to swivel left and right. The lift handle tube raises or lowers the blade and pivots right and left. The blade pivot rod connects the blade to the handle tube and pivots the blade to the right and left. The angle lock bars lock the blade in either right, left, or straight ahead position. The blade adjust spring holds the blade in position and permits it to pivot forward to pass over an obstruction. The blade shoe is the ground contacting part of the blade. Adjust it for adequate ground clearance. The blade pivot shaft connects the blade to the channel assembly and allows the blade to pivot forward. The lift handle rod connects the lift handle tube to the channel assembly and raises and lowers the blade. The control cable connects the lock release lever to the angle lock bars. Caution: Carefully inspect the area to be worked before operating the snowblade. Avoid pipes, roots, curbs, and other heavy obstructions. Caution: Know the terrain. Avoid exceptionally steep slopes or drop-offs which may be hidden by the snow. Never run the snowblade into heavy material at high speed. Caution. Always lower the blade to the ground before leaving the mower. To raise the blade, squeeze the handle grip while pulling the handle tube up. To lower the blade, squeeze the handle grip while pushing the handle tube down. To pivot the blade, raise the blade to the transport position. Unlock the blade by squeezing the lock release grip against the handle tube. Keep the grip depressed and push forward or pull back on the handle tube, sliding it along the lift rod. Release the grip to lock the blade when it's in your desired position. To use the snow blade, prepare the tractor for cold weather using instructions furnished with the lawn tractor. Always begin with the transmission in first, low gear, and gradually increase speed as required. To reduce icing on the snow blade, allow the lawn tractor blade to adjust to the outdoor temperature before operating. For improved snow removal performance, coat the blade with an automotive type paste wax. Do not repeatedly push snow in the same direction. This causes excessive buildup with each successive pass. During the operating season, check all bolts, nuts, and hairpin cotters to be sure they are secure. During the operating season, clean the blade off after each use. Touch up any bare metal with paint or apply a light coat of grease or rust preventative. Lubricate all pivot points to help maintain proper operation of blade. Apply a light coating of oil to the straight upper portion of the lift handle rod. The tension of the blade adjustment spring may be altered to permit the blade to tilt forward to bypass solid obstructions. To change the spring tension, adjust the nuts at the upper end of the spring bolt. Standing in front of the blade, turn the nuts counterclockwise to relieve tension and clockwise to increase tension. The blade shoes may be raised for close work on smooth surfaces or lowered to raise the blade when working on rough or uneven areas. Ensure both shoes are set evenly and securely fastened. If the blade will not unlock and pivot, the angle lock bars are not disengaging from the slots in the pivot plate. To correct this, adjust the 5 16 inch hex jam nuts to draw the end of the control cable back towards the cable mount bracket so that there are less threads protruding through the bracket. When the snow blade is not in use, remove all dirt and rust. Touch up bare metal with paint or apply a light coat of grease or rust preventative. Lubricate all pivot points shown in the diagram. To remove the blade, lower it to the ground in the center straight ahead position. Remove the 3 8 inch nylock nut and hex bolt that secures the mount assembly to the hitch mount assembly. Then slide the blade mount assembly out. Store in a dry area, protected from weather. Congratulations, your new AgriFab Zero Turn Snowblade is now ready to use. For additional help or replacement parts, 
Contact AgriFab directly at 1-800-448-9282 or visit www.agri-fab.com. AgriFab. Lawn care made easy.